Okay. We don't want to do that. Then wipe my eyes. My eyes. Ah! Yo, welcome to Ride Back Has Heat. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and uh, I this the perfect opportunity presented itself today. Uh, just got back late last night, actually, uh, from Bio Accelerator, Bio X Men, cool water bottle. I'm actually going to look to getting these for the website. I uh, because I've been using this a lot. Cool little screw on top, and uh. I had these packages of my boy Tim T sent me. I say my boy, I've never met Tim. Tim is just a, is this camera a little crooked? Ah, oh, I could tell, I could just tell. My spidey senses, it's slightly off. Ah, oh, stupid. It's too late, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna even, we're just gonna go to the crooked video. Um, the, uh, he sent me these a while back, cause, hey, right back. Not, and this isn't Tim, this is somebody you do. Hey, right back. I haven't seen a right back SC channel video in a long time. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Um, as I've already mentioned, like, they took a break for a bit. Like, this stuff, guys, is intense. And I do a lot. Okay? I do a lot. This is the least of my worries sometimes, okay? Okay. Um, so anyways, I was like, I, I need a starting point here because these sauces are like, really, I've done the hottest sauces in the world. So anyways, today I'm doing two packages. Tim sent me these and said these were really, really hot. And he was curious to see how I handled it. Um, and I, I never had heard of these. I'm not overly worried. I don't know if this is gonna kick my ass. I Smelling it, I don't feel like it is. But it's a Ryback Has Heat video. At least it gets the ball rolling. We got a Ryback Has Heat video. And then and everybody that's bitching, no one, you can just shut the hell up. Shut up! I got two packages of these. I also needed to eat my meal, my protein for the day. All right? So I combined this. With these two packages, they had, there were two packages of the sauce that goes in, uh, along with two packages of flakes. All went in this. And I don't care if you believe me or not, because I don't lie, and I put it all in. And I also put Beyond Meat, red onions, some mushrooms, pink Himalayan sea salt, and that's it. All, all mixed in. So I got this whole meal. This is a big, I believe this is like 140, 154 grams of carbs, which is a huge carb meal for me on this. And I'm taking the whole week off from weights and cardio. This is my last day. Cardio will start back tomorrow. I'll take about three to four weeks possibly off of weights after the stem cells at BioAccelerator and then kind of go from there and see how I feel. Um, you just don't get the stem cells and like, oh, you're back wrestling. Because like, this is what, oh my God, you just got the injections. You're back wrestling. Like, no, there's no timetable. And even if there was a timetable, you're not going to know about it. So shut up. That's when you're going to get back to wrestling. Well, just watch my videos. And you'll realize that there's no date. <laughs> this is, so anyways, guys, this is right back has heat. We'll see how this goes. Um, I don't know. We're going to, I'm using a spoon too for this so I can get, all the meat in my mouth, that's what she said. I'm hoping it's not hot. Tim, you might just be a wuss. I'm not gonna lie, adding those mushrooms in were a good choice. I do feel a little heat kicking him. Up. 
trying to say, there is heat. They are. Oh, that was a good bite. I got a little bit of everything on that one. And I will say with this, <coughs> super, well, there was a burp, the herp. I haven't had those in a while. Once your heat tolerance, so, ooh, my heat tolerance was sky high at, at multiple points. So it stays high, but obviously with the elite hot sauces, I need to work up to some of those. I'm shocked I have the hurts right now. For those watching, that's the combination of the hiccups and the burps. Herps. <clears throat> Just a little bit of water. <clears throat> Obviously, as I'm eating a huge meal, this isn't like an official challenge where you can't have wa water. Anything. This is just a super, supposedly a super hot meal. I will say, and you can see this, the sweat starting to kick in. And uh, I'm shocked at the amount of herps I have on this because I usually, I'm not in any pain or anything right now. The heat is very mild to, to me. But it is hot. It's very, actually, very enjoyable. My butthole's not going to hate me later. I hope not. It's going to double hate me. Hate me for being, this is vegan and super, supposedly hot. Oh, nothing in the butthole hates more than a, than a vegan heat. I will say though, this is making me sweat internally much more than the actual heat in the mouth. And I did choose to leave my Feed Me More Nutrition Hungry <clears throat> jacket on. Sweater. Oh boy. I feel very young right now though, after all these stem cells and good night's rest. I'm feeling very, very young. I feel good. These have heat. Tim, there's no doubt that these, these have heat. You guys have to remember, though, I've done the hottest things in the world. I'm essentially, the for, for celebrity status, I'm probably like number one in the heat game. Because I've done some some dead serious stuff. The Johnny Scoville tuba tear in the hot tub with the heat outside. The craziest thing I've ever done. Oh, they got me a little in the throat. That's <coughs> what she said again. <clears throat> I don't think some of you too on the heat challenges realize it just destroys your day. Especially when even building up your tolerance, you got to understand, like, you got to take the hot sauce and incremental increasing the uh, amounts throughout the week leading up, sometimes even longer. And it can cause you just to, like, it burns. And when, when you go to the bathroom, it burns. It's not, and also the hot sauce makes you go to the bathroom even more. So it's just, you know... I don't have a, you know, just a, a thing, a bidet strapped to my waist where I can just spray my ass all day long. It's like, you know, pull my pants down and go and spray my ass and keep going. I'm good. You know, it's a lot of work. And I don't want to be wiping my ass 15 times a day. Maybe I should look into getting an ass bucket. That Maybe the, the chick was onto something with that. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. This is really good. This with the mushrooms and the Beyond Meat 
and the red onions, I'm, whoa, I'm sweating on the table. This is, this is a lot of noodles. Oh. Man, what a time in Colombia. I got to visit this place called Communa 13, which is considered like more of, I guess, which would be considered one of the poorer areas of Colombia. And it, it builds up on top of each other. It reminds me very much of India, but on mountains they do it, of how people live. And inside could actually be nice, and it could be very, very bad. But it's, the people over there welcomed me in, and they were so, it was so cool to get to, for kids to still recognize you. That, by the way, were super young, so by the time when I was wrestling, they were really little. So the fact they even know who I am, that was like, whoa. And, uh, and obviously the older kids and, and people, it was a cool experience, but it was like, it made, reminded me that like, um, they're all very happy. And that's what the people were telling me. And the guy that was uh, with us, just how happy the people are and proud they are. And I was like, it's just a perfect example of happiness exists in here. And it, it, we all have the key to it. It's up to us to unlock it. And it's not through possessions or necessarily success. Not to say those things, they all play a big, huge part in that. They can, and they could all be like, but happiness is a, a daily choice. And I feel like we were gonna go on a coffee tour and we changed it to that right before. I'm so happy we did. Because that made the trip very, very, uh, it, it was like, it was, it was meant to happen. And you talk to the kids and like to ask questions and like, and share with them like too, eating on diet and because they, they, they were there like soccer's the big thing and, and getting out of that community or building yourself up to be able to, you know, not getting out of the community necessarily, but like but leaving. And, and being able to do other things and share with them some things that have helped me and mindset wise, book wise, diet wise. It was a cool experience. Wow. They didn't want to take me out on the cable. They have these cable cars that take you to the top of the mountains and go all the way across and I just said, no, I didn't want to die over there. And I don't, I have no doubt that those things, they've been reliable for those people for many years. But I've seen Final Destination and, you know, the last thing I, they had the stem cells. That was all he, I was just, he needed to get back home, essentially. And, uh, and I don't know the, you know, the, you know, you're up there and something goes wrong. <laughs> there's no, you know, there's no other options. It's a long fall. It was high. And I just said, yeah, I, I would rather just walk up and, you know, enjoy the experience and be on my feet. I, mean, I love being on my feet. <sighs> Ooh. This is, this was a good first video for the Ryback has eaten a while. Because there's no, you can't fake this. Well, you're faking the video. This got lights on you. I put a thing up today. I like sharing the stuff I read and what I know and from people. And essentially, it's like having a negative opinion is not a bad thing. It's not, we're all going to have see things we don't like and don't agree with. I told you before, it's the, the mindset of stopping and 
choosing to distract yourself and push that negative opinion in usually in very hateful ways. Very rare that it's done in a well-written way. But even then, it's, it's taking the time to stop and distract to argue. Because that's essentially what you want. You want to st trigger an argument. And it, it, there's no winning in that. Because it distracts us from the time we could be spending on doing other things. So we see something, we have a negative opinion. You see me, you hate me, right? The fact that you stop, you probably, like you say, you come across this video. Oh my God, this guy is so full of himself. I hate him. What an egomaniac, this narcissist, whatever the deal is. And then you stop and then write out 10 paragraphs on what, how I'm a horrible human being. You've wasted that time because it's not stopping me from anything I'm doing. It's essentially, it, it's a, a, the inability to shift out of the negative and to focus on positives while causing even further negatives and hate. And that's why people get blocked. Blocking is not bad to me. Blocking in itself, like if you're blocked by me, I don't hate you. I don't even know you. But I don't, I don't agree with the mindset. And, that, and I feel like I'm doing you a favor and I'm doing myself a favor and the people that work for me a favor. We could all could just keep doing our thing, right? And a lot of people don't realize that, but it's such a... I'm trying to give you little gems for those of you that do, that do understand and catch yourselves so you'll focus on what you're doing in your life because we're all going to see it. Don't waste the time, though. and the, Just see it and disagree with it and hate it, but move on because it's just otherwise... And that's what we see on social media, wasting our time and preventing us from doing things that will make us happy, right? That's going to make us more unhappy and more depressed, I'm telling you. But hey, I'm a big dumb wrestler. What do I know? Woo! Watch back. <laughs> I might just order a bunch of these to have every once in a blue moon. This is a hell of a meal. I got to do a dry fast coming up. Starting tomorrow. Ooh. So this is why I chose these because I don't mind having... This is essentially my cheat meal with these carbs. In this amount today. Try not to wipe the sweat off so you can really get the effect. Ugh, freaking jack. The heat in the mouth is not, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the scale in a minute, but. It's the temperature gone up. This is actually really one of the heat things that's really enjoyable. Because for me, this is the perfect level of heat where you can eat and enjoy the food. It doesn't, it's not, not enjoyable, but you get the benefits of the sweating and all the other good stuff from the capsaicin. I don't know what heat is using though. I should take a look and see. Wow, done. Okay. We don't want to do that though. Wait, my eye, my eyes! Ah! Let's see what the heat is on this. <coughs> oh. These are vegan, by the way. They're from Australia, actually. Or wait. 
in Australia, imported by Nong, Nong Shim Australia. What the, what's the heat in this? Uh, it doesn't say what the heat is. It's a mystery heat. There's the, what's the damn mystery heat? I don't know. If somebody in the comments knows what this, the heat is in this, please leave it for everybody. Because I sure as hell don't know. All right, here on the, so on the heat scale of one to 10 in the actual mouth, throat, like stomach, I don't feel anything in the stomach. Whereas on some of those heat stuff, they will destroy your stomach. And um, for the actual heat in the mouth, I'm giving it uh, two out of 10, very low, very low, maybe even one and a half. Like, no, nah, we'll give it two. Two's a fair assessment on that. Again, I have a much higher tolerance, so these can be way hotter for other people. As far as the, the heat from the sweating, this caused a lot of sweating, as you can tell. Like, I'm, like, I mean, I got a good amount on me. Um, that, so, I, and again, I, I don't feel like any heat in my head or anything like that. It just caused, uh, it caused swelling of something that was like a, a maybe on a, a six to eight scale, I feel like. Six to seven scale, I will say. Uh, so, not bad. And mixing it with food and all that, that, that was a really enjoyable meal. I thought that was a chance. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Tim, great recommendation, my man. Two thumbs up for, for the recommendation. Thank you. If you guys ever have anything to, please leave it in the comments. We'll try to get some more of these as we go along. Uh, some of those hot sauces, like the Mad Dog Plutonium 9. You guys, like that takes some training, and it looked, that could ruin my day. On top of, I've talked about health wives. I've just like... There's a lot, like, I got to have a big meal before it, and it, it really has to time out. It's not easy, essentially, because for what I have going on. It's, it is, quite frankly, not that important to me. But I do like to do these things, and I've tested myself with the hottest things in the world already. So I'm not, like, overly concerned on, like, my reputation in the heat world or anything like that. I'm like, I've already proven I could do it. So it's like... <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, right back to making excuses again. <laughs> uh, I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. And uh, I'll see you next time. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.